it's all on the line. All eyes in this country are on Georgia. We are going to save the country. Control of the U.S. Senate comes down to two Senate runoffs in Georgia. Two incumbent Republican senators, Kelly Leffler and David Perdue, are rallying their base, in part by attacking a member of their own party, the Republican Secretary of State in charge of the election. The senators are calling on Brad Raffensperger to resign, questioning the legitimacy of the results without offering any specific evidence to support their claims. I have my job to do and I'll follow it faithfully. I think that integrity still matters. Raffensperger fired back, saying he will not resign, but today announced a hand recount of the nearly 5 million ballots in the presidential race in the state, where Joe Biden currently leads by more than 14,000 votes. Obviously, this is a very close race, and people uh, that were on one side of the aisle are, don't like the results, and I get that. I'm a Republican, I'm a conservative Republican but the results will be the results. Georgia's leading paper condemned the senator's efforts to muddy the state's election results, slamming them as baseless accusations, reckless, and a risky sideshow. Senator Leffler's Democratic challenger, Reverend Raphael Warnock, jumped on the editorial, saying Leffler intentionally seeks to erode trust in our democracy for her own political benefit. Thank you all. And Senator Perdue's opponent, Democrat John Ossoff, also seized on the Republican infighting, calling it a distraction. They're fighting amongst themselves over the election results, but the people have spoken. This is literally, you know, the showdown of all showdowns in terms of politics. Back at the crowded indoor Republican rally, Florida Senator Marco Rubio traveled in to stump for his Georgia colleagues, bolstering their message of distrust. I don't think politicians, I don't think the media enjoy the credibility any longer to, to tell people what to believe about these things. Turn to the crowd, many not wearing masks, and despite no evidence of widespread voting fraud, supporters say they don't trust the system worked. I think there's something to it. They got it. This is the tip of the iceberg. All right, Ken, you just uh, told us how crowded the event was and that many people weren't wearing masks. So then what happened? You were obviously in the room. It's closed in, no masks, no social distancing. What'd you do? Uh, and not only was there no social distancing, people were standing shoulder to shoulder. It became uncomfortably full in that room. There were no windows, no ventilation that any of us could feel. And so it felt like a real health hazard. Remember, we are in the middle of a pandemic. So in order to cover the story, we put a live camera rolling in the back of the room and we pulled out, we left because of the conditions we have here in Georgia. We should point out that the White House Coronavirus Task Force just moved this state into the red zone that is the most dangerous for spread of this infection, Aaron.